Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. It's pretty hot today, man. Look at the sky. The warmest I think it's been uh, since the month of May started. And um, it's pretty warm out here today. But um, that's not why I started this video to talk to you guys about the weather. Um, I want to talk about some of my recent videos and some of the comments that I've been noticing on my YouTube channel concerning the Black Hebrew Israelites and what they've done by calling into the show on the G Podcast and um, what I hear them saying all over, all over YouTube. And I want to talk about this because I believe this needs to be said. Um, <clears throat> the Black Hebrew Israelites are offended because we call them Black Hebrew Israelites. Well, actually, they seem to be offended because we call them Black. They want to be referred to as a nation of uh, people. They don't want to be referred to as being black. Now, I had to think about this a little bit before I got on here because I was just going to start cracking up uh, because of it. But I found another way about going, another way about going, about doing this. Well, first of all, <clears throat> the, Hebrew, the, the black Hebrew Israelites need to understand something. I understand that you guys want to be known as Hebrew Israelites or Israelites. I understand that. I've heard you and I understand that but let me tell you why I'm not going to respect that okay um, number one you got to understand something black Hebrew Israelites when you're talking to Christians you need to understand something about us we do not agree that you are the biblical Jews let me say that again we Christians don't agree you are the biblical Hebrew Israelites We, we, we just don't agree. We don't agree that you're the biblical Hebrew Israelites. We believe that you have been deceived and you are deceiving yourself into believing that you're the Hebrew Israelites. The fact of the matter is you're not. Okay? Uh, no matter how many scriptures we show you why you're not, you still insist on wanting to be called black Hebrew Israelites. Um, you want us to believe that you're a descendant, a, a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob based on your 12 tribe chart. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, your chart is wrong. The Native American Indians, really? The Haitians, Guatemalans, and Jamaicans, really? You really believe that these people are the biblical Israelites? Anyway, so we've debunked that into the into the ground we've debunked this idea that just because you're black that you're a hebrew israelite for the various reasons that we talk about on this youtube channel i'll give you a couple number one the bible says that the physical when, when the bible is talking about the physical appearance of the hebrew israelites if they're not talking about them standing in the sun too long then what it is that they're doing is uh because the, the scriptures would say that their skin is black unto them because they stand in it, because it was in the sun too long. That's number one. Number two, the Israelites were, were being described as being ready red. Now, some of them like to say, oh, that's just an appearance of their beauty. That, that, that's not their physical. No, that's what the Bible says, that they were ruddy. Okay, if you look at the word Adam, Adam, uh, the word Adam means ruddy. Okay, so these Hebrew Israelites doesn't even know what they're talking about um, regarding this. Um, they like to take on the curses for themselves because they believe that that, that, that we uh, we African Americans uh, fit the curses. So that means you're a Hebrew Israelite, and that's just simply not true. And I'm glad that we have people like myself and Beckel and, and, and Faithful and Surreal and Sister Cherry on here, people who are African American descent and uh, Hispanic descent, to get on here to tell people this because it's utter nonsense. I'm not going to lie to myself in, in an attempt to edify myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm suffering from a lot of dry scalp, guys. So my head itches a lot. So that's why I don't like wearing these things no more. <laughs> I got to let my head breathe here a little bit. So I'm going to take the hat off. Um, I really got to do something about that. But um, what was I saying? But yeah, a lot of them like the lie to themselves. They're deceiving themselves and they're deceiving other people into believing that they're the Hebrew Israelites and they're not. Um, and that's not my problem. You know, uh, if the Israelites, would, if these Hebrew Israelites, these black Hebrew Israelites would spend the time reading the Bible for themselves and not submitting their will 
and, 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 and submitting their intelligence to people like General Johanna and Nathaniel and these other cult leaders that's out there. And they will read the Bible for themselves. They'll find out just how many times they've been lied to. And, and that's why we got so many people coming out of IUIC. Coming out of Israel United in Christ because they're reading the Bible for themselves. And they're seeing that they've been lied to. They're, they're being lied to. Telling people to divorce their wives uh, because they're not Hebrew Israelites. These people are disgusting. IUIC. But let me not get into a bunch of name calling. But... So, yeah, they're offended because they want to be called Hebrew Israelites. They don't want to be called black Hebrew Israelites. They believe it's insulting, which I find to be comical. Um, the Hebrew Israelites also seem to be offended by a couple of other things that I'm doing on my YouTube channel, like doing the G podcast. Um, some of them seem to be offended because when I go into these rooms by myself, you know, people like myself, now mind you, I think out of all of the members of SOG, I'm probably the weakest one in terms of like um, knowing about what these people believe and, and how to, the, and how it is best to go about dealing with them. I think that I, I've been saying this for the longest, for the longest, and I'm going to keep saying it, but I believe that Brother Faithful, Brother G Consciousness, and Vocab Malone are the best with handling their doctrines and dealing with them the best way. I might be more of an entertainer when I'm dealing with them, and I may be the courageous one with dealing with them on the street. But those brothers know their stuff and they know how to um, go out there and uh, deal with them. I mean, we, we all have our gifts and our talents from God. You know what I mean? So I'm going to use mine. I'm, I'm an in-your-face kind of person. You know, if I saw them out here right now, I would be doing this video in front of their face. That's the kind of person that I am. I don't mind confrontation. It doesn't bother me. I think it's good to have your beliefs challenged. And then when your beliefs is challenged, then, you know, you should come out stronger believing the things that you believe. But, when, but we're little by little, we're noticing that the Hebrew Israelites are getting weaker and not stronger. Even the Torah Knights have to admit that they did a horrific job on their YouTube channel of dealing with me. And I'll gladly make myself available to go back on their channel again, providing they obey a couple of rules, like um, one at a time. When they ask me a question, I'm actually allowed to, to answer it. Um, I have no problem going on their channel. They're not asking me hard questions. These questions that they're asking me are elementary to me. So um, they're not really asking me anything. Um, but yeah, they seem to be offended because we're calling them black. Prove you're an Israelite and I'll call you a Hebrew Israelite. The word Hebrew shows up in the Bible and the word Israelite shows up in the Bible. But what we don't see in the Bible, I, I don't think, is the term Hebrew Israelite. So you're either a Hebrew or you're an Israel, Israelite. You don't got to use both words. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, the, and the, the word Hebrew means wanderer and Israelite means that you're a child, a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're, you're of the children of Israel. So, it doesn't mean you're saved, by the way. It just means that you're a descendant of Israel. Now, they believe that your identity and you keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, you're saved. And the Bible doesn't teach that. The Bible says that you have to believe on Christ. It's all over the place. But some of them don't even believe on Christ. And then they get offended when, when we call them black Hebrew Israelites. Well, anyway, let's consider what the Hebrew Israelites, the black Hebrew Israelites do when they talk to us as Christians. They call us stupid. They say our churches produce girly men. They lie about what our pastors teach us. They sit there and they say things like we're scared of them and we don't know how to debate them. We, we're not ready for battle. We can't take on the Israelites. They say things like um, our women are whores. They're fake. Uh, they don't know how to conduct themselves in public. They say a lot of things about our, about our wonderful, beautiful Christian women that is in the church. Um, they say a lot of derogatory, disrespectful things because I, I guess they believe if they talk to you that way, they're going to make you a, um, a Hebrew original like that way. You'll feel ashamed and you'll say, hey, if you can't beat them, let's join them. Even though they didn't improve Jack Squat Dilly. Um... And, 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 and I think it's pathetic. Like, I, how many videos do I got to make, guys? Like, for example, when, when, when I go to North New Jersey and, and, and I'm um, confronting IUIC and they don't respond to me, they believe they got a victory by not talking to me. No, they don't. What it shows is that they're inconsistent. Our churches do produce real men because a real man is never going to back down from another man. You understand what I'm saying? I think the Israelites are producing a bunch of girly men who, who, who refuse to engage an aggressive conversation to prove your point. 
ISUPK's got a bunch of cowards in their group. General Johanna is the leading leader of the uh, of the cowards of the ISUPK. General Tazariot is another one. And I'm going to prove it if I ever see those guys in Harlem. I just don't get out of work early enough to be able to get out there. GMS are the only ones. GMS are the only ones that actually have a conductive interview, interview with me in public. If IUIC invited me to Newark to have a cordial conversation with them, I would do it. But it's going to be recorded and I want you guys to see it. But it's not going to happen because, again, Nathaniel is their god. Nathaniel is their prophet. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. But they say a lot of derogatory things about us Christians. You know, but then they get offended because we call them black. They get offended because we call them black. But our women are whores. The Christian man is a homosexual because he's not a, um, a Hebrew Israelite or a black Hebrew Israelite. Let me explain something to you black Hebrew Israelites, uh, something about me. You want me to stop referring to you as a black Hebrew Israelite? You need to do a couple of things yourself. You're not, you need to stop talking about my Christian sisters the way you do. You need to stop talking about my Christian brothers the way you do. Stop calling Soril a coon. Stop telling him that he's worshiping white Christianity. Stop telling him that, that, that he's following a false messiah. Stop telling um, my brothers and sisters to whom I love dearly, whether at times I, I disagree with them on various videos or whatever, stop sitting around here saying the derogatory comments that you're saying about them. Because God help you, God help you people, the day I'm walking with one of them down the street and you stop and you say something derogatory when I'm walking past. Because I will stop what I'm doing, I will drop my bike, I will walk up in your grill and I will say, prove it. And I'll cross that line and I ain't got no problem doing it. I'll cross that line and I have no problem doing it. Tazariot punked out polite. I won't get punked out. Especially if I got that bullhorn in my hand. He won't like what I do with that thing. Because I know they like to use their sound systems. And this drives me crazy. Oh, you know, you offended us because you call us black. Yeah, and what are you if you ain't black? You ain't no Israelite. Women want me to call you colored? That's what the southern uh, slave owners used to call us. Insulting. I'm not gonna. So, a lot of them ask me, Jen, what do you mean by a red? What complexion is that? Well, if you look at the Native American Indians, or if you look at uh, the complexion of Saddam Hussein, one of the most dark skin. That's how I would say um, the Israelites look. Like, like you would never call an Indian, like one of the, the people that live in India, black or nothing like that, would you? You call them dark, right? Well, a lot of them could pass as being already red, I think. So when we hear the Israelites, um, uh, the black Hebrew Israelites talk about you know, being offended because of this, if I were you, I would keep calling them black Hebrew Israelites until they repent of saying all these bad things about our women and about our brothers and sisters in Christ. We love Jesus and we're going to serve him regardless of what they think. You know what I mean? So I don't care if you're offended. Go look at these one Westers like GMS, IUIC, uh, ISUPK. Go look at some of these groups and go look at how they're talking about us Christians. Go take a look at it for yourself and then get back to me about whether or not you think I'm offended by not only the fact that they're talking about us behind our back, but they won't even invite us to have a cordial one-on-one -on -one discussion with us. They won't even have a debate with us on debate talk for you or anything like that because one of the things that I've noticed since I've been in this great debate community is this. Some of you have a legitimate reason, and I'm, I'm even saying the Hebrew Israelites too, because you got trolls out there. Some of you have legitimate reasons for not debating people. Some people are obsessed, some people are stalking you, some people just don't got no life and they need to get a job. If, if, if those are the reasons, and, and then you probably want some people to be qualified to talk to you, they got to be a theologian or a pastor or have some type of influence. If that's the case, then I respect the fact that you don't want to debate me or you don't want to debate a Christian. However, if you're going to get on your um, out there in the street and say things like, um, we'll take on a Christian anytime, we, anytime, anyplace, anywhere, and then a Christian shows up when you're outside and you got a sound system and I don't, and it's like 11 or sometimes guys, it's like 15 of those guys. There'll be like 10 of them in front of you and then their fan club is behind you. And you really got to watch your back when you're dealing with them because these people are like they gangland sometimes. You got to watch your back. It's a very dangerous thing when you confront the Hebrew Israelites. I'm not going to lie to you. It's very dangerous. Um, but it's amazing when God is with you. These people can't do nothing to you. But when the time comes, the time comes.
And it is all the more to give reason to, to, to praise God over this. But the point of the matter is, at the end of the day, you know what, let me put this on do not disturb so people can stop calling. Okay. The point of the matter is, is that um, if, if you're going to talk about us Christians, you know, and, and when we come, we take our time out of our schedule to come and talk to you, talk back to us. Putting an umbrella on my face and writing coon on it only shows that you're, that you're afraid. And that's what I wanted to get to, and that's the word fear. These, these Hebrew Israelites are scared. They saw what happened with James White. You know, God bless him for what he did, but he kind of hurt a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, other Christians out there for us dealing with the rest of the Hebrew Israelites. Because now, General Johanna, Nathan, I mean Nathaniel, and a lot of them know that we understand Scripture better than them. Truthfully, I could put Sister Cherry in a room with General Johanna, and Sister Cherry would smack him around like a rag dog. Sister Cherry would smack him around like a rat dog. Okay? I'm not even going to talk about Fable. You know, uh, Torah Knights actually wanted me to bring Bo Cat Malone. And they wanted me to be, bring uh, Fable and those guys into the room with them. And after listening to those guys talk, I wouldn't waste those guys' time talking to uh, Torah Knights. Because Torah Knights would get, just get their behinds handed to them. Fable by himself on an off day when he's sick and got the flu. He, he can barely hear and is ha barely, barely hear and he's half asleep would beat these dudes hanging upside down while the blood is rushing to his head. That's how, that, that's how much faithful would destroy those guys because they don't know what they're talking about. And I've argued with faithful. I've had disagreements with Brother Faithful uh, regarding the scripture. No, he's not easy. He ain't easy. Neither is Veckel. Okay, I've never had a disagreement with Vocab or Marcus or nobody like that. But there are some Christians out here that know their stuff. All right? And, 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 and they'll bring it. And Torah Knights ain't ready for those dudes. If they can't handle me, I guess you can call me the test. If you can't deal with me, don't even waste Faithful's time. Don't waste Vocab's time. Don't waste Surreal and those guys' time. Don't waste their time. If you can't deal with me, don't waste their time. All right? Uh, Vekul had a debate with that with that guy, Yahshua Ben Yahuda, whatever his name is. Vekul debated him. And truthfully speaking, when the moderator got to stop you and tell you that you're not even talking about the topic no more and that you don't understand what a Q&A is and, and, and he wasn't even over, wasn't even over and, and the debate was over because the guy wasn't even talking about the topic that they agreed to debate on. So what a lot of you need to understand is, is that these general, you know, Daddy Yohanna, that cult leader, He's nothing special. He's just as idiotic as the people that's following him. Uh, you saw the Bible study that I that I responded to yesterday regarding the love of uh, the love of God and who Jesus died for. They're not really difficult to defeat. They don't know what they're talking about. Actually, arguing with them makes me kind of lazy because when I deal with the atheists uh, here on the internet, it, it, I have to actually warm my brain up a little bit before I can deal with them because the Hebrew Israelites will make your um, I don't know. It's, 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 it's like my brain stops working when I deal with them sometimes. Some of those guys in the Hebrew Israelite camps are not easy, though. And, and you got to know some scripture to deal with them because they'll bring up the Apocrypha. And um, some of them will bring up, um, uh, what is it, um, limited atonement and things like that. you got to know scripture in order to get around that. So um, I ain't going to say all of them are easy, but a lot of them, and I mean a lot of them are. So I don't care if you guys are offended as Hebrew Israelites. What you need to understand is you're saying a lot of derogatory things about us Christians. And you're not backing them up. Putting coon umbrellas in my face. And let me park my bike here a minute. Putting coon umbrellas in my face. And um, acting like I'm not standing there when you're talking about Christians. I talk to the people in North New Jersey. They think you guys are nothing but a bunch of yellow belly cowards. And they'll listen to me when you're not around. You're right, the, 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 believe it or not, the Hebrew Israelites are helping me do something I've always wanted to do in North New Jersey to begin with. And the thing that they're helping me with, by the way, that's my bike over there, guys. Uh, that's one of them. I got like five of these things. <laughs> I got to because I don't, I'm too lazy to get them fixed. <laughs> As you guys see it. But the people over there in, um, in North New Jersey, you know what I mean? They're, they're not listening to those dudes. Those, those Muslims down there, those aggressive Muslims. You know, they're not hearing them, man. They're not paying them any mind. They like to support them maybe because they're, they're the same race and everything or not. But in reality, they, they disagree with them. But every time I deal with them and they don't listen to me, I get a Muslim that will talk to me 
um, about their faith and it opens the door up for me to go talk to Muslims in downtown Newark. I actually have a conversation with a, with, with a Muslim on my phone that I do want to uh, post to YouTube. And they tried to say that, they tried to use atheistic arguments against me to prove that uh, there are contradictions in the Bible. And well, you should have seen how fast that changed. Um, I'm just used to arguing that with atheists, so I'm, I'm, I'm pre very prepared for those kind of things. So, um, if, you, if some of you want to know where I'm at, I'm in Maplewood Park here in Maplewood, New Jersey. I'll let you guys take a look around. What are you doing in Maplewood, G-Man? That's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> so... Um, at the end of the day, it opens the door up for me to talk to a lot of different people about Christ. And uh, a lot of the women, I notice, are starting to look at them. Because when, when a woman sees a man confronting another man, and the other man is ignoring him, and he's not answering you, a lot of these women will be like, well, maybe this brother has got a point. And I'll actually tell them about the G Podcast. So listen, check out the G Podcast. I'll teach you how to shut them up. If you guys want them to leave you alone, simply... Um, uh, watch the G podcast, and I'll teach you what you what you got to say and what you got to do to get them to back off. And if we can get them to back off for all of you, they're done. They don't got an audience no more. You know what I mean? That's why I'm starting to notice that it's almost better not to talk to the Hebrew Israelites on the street. It's actually better to take their audience from them, which is what I've been doing a lot. But they're too stupid, you know, to figure that out. But I'm sure at some point, somebody in IUIC, ISUPK, GMS will will. We'll figure this out because, you know, some people in that, in that group is a little slow and they don't understand what's going on. You know what I mean? They build those nice audiences for me and I go over there and I confront them and they ignore me and then I talk to their audience. And I talk to them out of not becoming Hebrew originalites. I'm actually going to be making flyers soon, guys, because uh, us, us members of SOG, we actually have the precepts of IUIC. And if I can get them in flyer form, I'm going to start giving them to the people in Newark so that they can know what they're going to ask before they even ask the questions. We, we, we are serious about doing some serious damage to the One West black Hebrew Israelite camps where they are deliberately lying to you people to try to get you to become Hebrew Israelites. And then next, we're going to start attacking those pockets of theirs because very soon I'm going to do a Bible study on here and prove that when General Johanna is asking for your tithes, that you're not supposed to be giving him anything because he's not doing it in the biblical way. Oh, trust me, it's going to get real around here. As a matter of fact, I might do that in my next G podcast. But I want to wait until my Hebrew Israelite audience gets a little bit bigger before I do something like that because I want them. I want them to see a video like that where they can see that when General Johanna is asking for tithes, that he's doing it unbiblically. He's not doing it right at all. And definitely not according to the law. So be offended, black Hebrew Israelites. Be very offended. Be very offended because when you say things about my sisters in Christ, calling them whores, saying that they're fake, saying that they're not real, calling them all kinds of names out of their, um, calling them all kinds of things outside of their name, you're going to get that coming back to you times five. But not by lying about you, but by telling the truth about you. When we say things like you need to repent, you need to come to Jesus Christ, you believe in a false hope, you have a false Messiah, you don't know what you're talking about, you're not speaking real Hebrew, you don't know what you're talking about. And that's how we're going to retaliate. We're, I, listen to me, I got a debate May 25th on Debate Talk for You. I'm going to be debating a rabbi on the topic, can non-Israelites be saved? And I'm, I'm, and I'm going to try to be as disrespectful to one West as I possibly can. I'm going to get on there and I'm going to say, you know, if General Yohanna can get his big head out of that KFC bucket and bring us behind to the lion's den, I would gladly... Uh, take them on. Maybe I'll say something like Nathaniel and Nathaniel will stop being such a wuss and bring us behind to the lion's den. Perhaps uh, me and him can actually have some dialogue and get some things done. Or perhaps I'll get the elders of GMS, the most respectful ones out of all of these guys. And I can't believe I'm saying this about GMS. If you know anything about GMS, it's a wonder that I'm even saying anything about them. But um, um, I, what will I say about them if they could take those girly gowns off? bring their butts to the lion's den, I would gladly uh, educate them about why they're wrong about scripture. Even though, believe it or not, I agree with some of the things that they say because what they say is biblical, but 98% of what they say is a bunch of hogwash and it's not true. So, they're the only people that gave me a formal interview on their channel. ISUPK is raising nothing but a bunch of cowards and they don't want to they don't want to deal with us. You know, as Christians, we got to stay faithful to Jesus Christ no matter what. Despite the trouble, despite despite the persecution, despite the um, the things that um, is brought before us, because you know, 
at the end of the day <laughs> we only got this freedom but so long guys we only got it but so long before we're gonna be hiding in those caves from antichrist <laughs> so um i think that's all i wanted to say about this um yeah is it yeah it is lovely out here risen um looks like it's about uh i don't know it feels like it's about 80 it's supposed to get as high as 90 later at least that's what they say so uh, i don't know it's breezy you know yesterday would have been a great day to fly a kite one of these days i'm gonna come out here with my camera and i'm gonna watch you guys see me fly a kite do something different other than constantly debating people but uh, that's all I wanted to say about this, guys, regarding the Hebrew Israelites. Um, I think that these people are nothing but a bunch of yellow belly cowards. They got no reason to be offended because all they do is um, offend Christians. And then when Christians show up at their doorstep, they don't want no part of us. The Hebrew women, they don't want no part of us. They know better. But the funny thing is, if I go to one of these white Jews, or the guys who wear the hats, or the biblical ones anyway, um, the ones that, that, that uh, you see wearing the black and the tie and wearing the, the things on them and whatnot. If I see one of them and I ask them a question regarding the Bible, they'll talk to me. I see them all the time and they'll talk to me. They're not ashamed of what they believe. As a matter of fact, there's a community about a mile and a half up in Springfield, New Jersey. Uh, you gotta go we'll see what, Maplewood, Union, Springfield. There's about a mile, mile and a half, maybe two miles away from here. Maybe just under two miles. And it's just nothing but Jewish people. If, if you talk to one of them about about um, what the Old Testament says, they'll talk to you in a second. You talk to a black Hebrew Israelite, they act like they don't. They act like they don't know nothing. And the only people I got calling the G podcast these days, uh, well, at least on uh, this past week, was a bunch of Torah night wannabes. I ain't stupid. I know who who those people were. They trying to call me an agent. They trying to say I'm a Mason which is laughable because I'm none of those things. And if they would take the time out to watch some videos where I'm not talking about the Hebrew Israelites, when I'm talking about atheism, when I'm talking about some of these other things and whatnot, they would know that um, that's utter nonsense that I'm a, a Mason and <laughs> I'm a government agent. It's just, it's just stupidness. That's all it is. It's a bunch of stupidness. <laughs> and I can't take it. So uh, with that being said, Rabbi, if you're watching this, I hope you're getting ready for our debate, man, because... um. I'm not as nice as faithful on those guys. I can be kind of rough, bro. <laughs> and I hope you're ready. Because if you're not, you're done. You just don't know it yet, but you're going to be done. So, um, I've been on debate talk for you for a little bit. So, because of the whole marathon thing. But uh, now that there's no marathon to distract me, I'm not tired. I'm like, Ugh, no more than I'll get on here and do my thing. Maybe I'll simulcast it to my channel. If not, I'll definitely give you guys a link. Uh, to the debate um, on debate talk for you uh, or maybe give another brother an opportunity to put it on their channel I mean if the tour nights have any sense they'll simulcast it on their channel because they, they can use all the attention they can get you know um, and I think that's all I wanted to say about the Hebrew Israelites being offended so if, if, if you're a Hebrew Israelite and you're offended by anything that I said in this video I'm not a hard person to contact I do the G podcast every Monday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. You can bring your butt over to the show, ask to be a guest, and you can talk to me about these things. Perhaps we can meet each other in the middle somewhere. Probably not because I don't compromise. So um, with that being said, guys, this has been another edition of Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Telling you all to read your Bible and do what it says. And then why, why are you doing that? Enjoy the beautiful weather. Ah, don't you like the green? God bless.